All right, we're back out doing some exploration and what we're doing today is doing a little bit of extraction, a little bit of a bulk sample here. We have a showing uh, in chloratic uh, schist quartz feldspar and we have massive mineralization uh, in a quartz seam here. So what we're planning on doing is removing a whole bunch of this exposure and sending a sample in, a bulk sample in for an analysis. You can see loads of mineral everywhere. So that's our project for the day. We'll show you any samples we find. Little bits of mineralization all throughout. But it's not the sample we're after. We're looking for this right here, which is solid mineral. So we pulled our first little piece off here. You can see what I mean by solid mineral. All right, let's keep hammering away. Another little piece here, you can see massive mineralization on the end of this piece. Uh, you got magnetite, calcopyrite, pyrite. So your gang material for this uh, showing here is gonna be your quartz. For those of you who don't know what gang means, gang is the uh, mineral or waste rock that you have to process out of your ore to get your actual mineral. All right, so we got a few more small samples here. Looks like the rock is a little bit epidotized. Let's see the greenish staining. Looks like there's a little bit of uh, malachite staining in there as well. A couple other bigger samples. So we're hoping to get about uh, 25 pounds of this stuff today. For the sample, we're taking it not just in this exposure right here, but over this entire outcrop, which is five meters wide. And uh, there's multiple of these kind of quartz seams with calcopyrite stringers and mineral all throughout. So you can see here, that right there is calcopyrite on this side. Over here, that's iron pyrite. Fairly hard to tell the difference when you're just looking at a video, but uh, this is more of a uh, yellowy color uh, with a tinge of iridescent. This is just kind of silvery. So fairly easy to tell the difference between pyrite and iron pyrite. Uh, not so much on a, on a video. Another hunk off that exposure. A little bit of pyrotite in this one. Again, mostly uh, Calcopyrite with minor amounts of coarse-grained 
Iron Pyrite. Nice amount of mineral, chloratic schists. Break this open, see what this tells us. Rock is fairly deteriorated. You can see massive sulfides in uh, straight schist. Two more pieces. Yeah, let's hammer this one open now. Okay, so here's the sample broken in half. Semi massive pyrite and calcopyrite. So we got about 20 pounds now, we're looking for about five more. Another sample here to add to the collection. Disseminated mineral, cocoa pyrite and pyrite again. Another couple hunks off there. Okay, so we switched uh, getting a few grab samples here. Just below the exposure, you have uh, magnetite here, minor amounts of pyrite in the heavily oxidized piece of magnetite. Nice chloratic schists in there. A little bit of epidotized rock, looks like. Okay, so right now I am just above where that showing is up there. And uh, we just wanted to check this upper logging road to see what we have. There's a few samples here oxidized with uh, disseminated mineral decent amount but if you look at any of your rock here it's barely oxidized if any which tells me that your deposit dives down and goes underneath where I'm standing so uh, you're looking at about uh, 5 to 10 grams per ton of gold in your average sample here. A uh, couple percent copper, a couple percent lead and zinc, as well as a decent amount of silver. So that's all the time we have for prospecting today. Uh, we are done with our sample and we are done for the day so hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching we'll post the assay result right now